Hello and welcome along to the beautiful town of Rosberg. And this is also the town where I grew up. And it's just stunning. It's coming up for uh, 8 p.m. in the evening. If I zoom in, that's the land, island, Craig Leaf. And then over behind there's the bass rock. And this is the Firth of Forth estuary that goes out to the North Sea. That's so beautiful. So this is all part of my um, <laughs> world tour. And uh, it's really been you know, a magical experience so far. Um, so far, I met up with a friend uh, where I live in Dunbar, and then also with Natasha uh, today. Head, <laughs> he's like sniffing inside a bush. Um, yeah, my friend Natasha, we met up in Edinburgh today, and then also um, I'm meeting up with my mother and stepfather tomorrow. So that'll be fun. We switch around. Here I am. Um, I also submitted today. So one of the well, the biggest reasons I haven't been um, traveling more, other than my amazing family that I love being around, is I've been busy working my reflexology, my clinical reflexology course, which is like year two of university. It's like an HND um, uh, diploma. And so there's a lot of work in it, quite rightly, and I really love doing it. The um, the first uh, first three case studies are submitted, and today, uh, today I just submitted the um, second physiology paper. So that was a three thousand word essay on the digestive system, and the effects of stress on it, and then also how you can help um, help relieve the symptoms with uh, reflexology. And of course, just as I'm filming this uh, patch, has left me a present to pick up to one side. So yeah, I got that submitted. The only thing I need to submit now is case study four, which is going well. And case study four, I'll do um, next week. And it's quite good. There's a bit of a delay between them because I have to actually get on and do the, the treatments, complete those so that I can do the write-up. And then the 19th is the, the actual practical assessment. Uh, let me flip you around, it's just so stunning. And so yeah, I was pretty tired today when I when I woke up. Um, I didn't have an amazing sleep. Maybe part of it's excitement. Last couple of days I woke up at 3 a.m. Uh, just like one of my uh, long, long time uh, YouTube uh, subscribers, um, Emoji King was saying like similar things, although it's his time zone. He's been waking up at that time. And um, yeah, I just felt after meeting up uh, with my friend and then um, completing the, the second essay, quite tired. I did a reflexology treatment for my case study for clients. And then I was ready to be honest just to go to bed, but part of me felt like just guided to come out here. And my wife was saying, you've got to just follow your heart in the moment, like go with what feels right. And I know that I can get lots of rest here, so I'm not not worried about that. Um, and it is a really magical place. And when you come to magical places, magical things happen, right? Magical people and magical places. <laughs> um, someone was uh, a couple of people have said to me today, "Oh, why don't you do your um, uh, your dragon roar in public?" So why don't, why don't we do that just now? <laughs> and yeah, I've I've really enjoyed doing that uh, that same roar in in songs I've been doing in public, and I've also done it in face to face sessions and group sessions. And yeah, I must admit, it's uh, sometimes I'm a bit. Um, I guess timid using that 
around people. I used to be scared of doing it, and now I just feel maybe maybe I do worry a bit about how they'll receive that energy. But certainly, when I sing it in songs, um, when I sing it in songs, <laughs> people really enjoy it. So that's a really lovely experience. And so tonight, I think I'll just be chilling, watching some. TV, getting some sleep, and then in the van <laughs> uh, with Patch, and then in the morning, I don't know, it depends how I feel. I'm either going to do one of three or so things. One might be I um, just have a nice sleep in, because uh, I don't see my mother until 10 a.m. Another is uh, I may get up, meditate, go for a run here. Uh, with or without patch, I might I might bring patch. That would be interesting to see. Um, we might stroll along the beach together. That would be cool. Or I may also want to go um, for a swim. I don't have swimming stuff, um, but I do have like some running stuff that I could go in. It'd be very very cold. I think it'd be like just running and screaming. It'd be funny for sure. And was that the second option, third option? Yeah, one of those. Or maybe just taking patch for a walk. Um, it's a Friday tomorrow, so I do tend to go for, for runs. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll wait and see what happens. I've also been down to the cliffs down here before in the morning and, um, and written songs. In fact, we stayed here just before lockdown, the very first lockdown before we knew lockdowns were coming. And uh, that was some experience that was in our first motel. In fact, it was the first night we ever stayed in a motel and we loved it so much, we, we stayed a second night and then all the lockdowns happened. Yeah, it was really beautiful to, uh, to experience those, those moments of freedom. <laughs> and, um, and here I am now in, in a moment of much greater freedom. And, you know, now I no longer have a full-time job to go to. This is my new reality, is um, exploring at the same time as it's doing work. I love it. Oh, and you can just see the little hill now up there. So that's an old, uh, I guess, ancient uh, volcanic fog, like the core of a volcano. And I think these others are as well. I'm pretty sure the same with Craig Lee. And um, the lamb, and now you can just see there, Fidra, um, also famous for being, um, was it um, Treasure Islands the book was written about? And just there you can see the May Island. <laughs> so many islands here. And I was just, I was, I was reflecting on this from over here, thinking, I can't believe I'm going to here. It is so magical. And one of the downsides of living in such an amazing place where people grow up is you kind of expect the rest of the world to be like this. And um, it's not, right? It's, uh, the rest of the world is very different. Um, and it's all so many beautiful places and so many unique places. But at the same time, Anyway, I'm sure you're talking this wind in the microphone. I'm going to, to leave you at this and say goodbye. Hello, so I'm here in our van and um, sharing the view, which is really beautiful. That's the Craigleith island. You can see down to the town of North Berwick. Really spectacular. And so I've just made, I'm just going to try and not stand on my beautiful little dog patch. I've just made a nice cup of coffee for myself. So this would be the first night of my world tour and 
it's really exciting. <laughs> I think I can just hear. Is that like a car or a motorbike? Oh, it was a. What do you call it? It looks a bit like a Harley Davidson, like with like big chopper handlebars. It's really cool. Um, and I'm such a camping geek. I I have uh, this battery bank here, which um, I've now set up to be able to charge while I'm driving or from solar, etc. Uh, and you can also take it in the house and charge the whole thing within an hour. Um, and it can do things like boil your kettle or you know, heat your water or do your, um, you know, cook food, etc. So, or power, like an induction hob or a toaster or whatever you want, which is fantastic. And it's funny, um, out of all the commodities, you realize one of the most important is, is water. And this is how much water has. Whoa, this zoomed in. This zoomed out a bit. To one percent, there we go. So, what is this like? It's somewhere between five and ten liters. Maybe it looks bigger on camera, and you can see like my hand. <laughs> um, and that's to do patch and I. Uh, we're only going to be here about twelve hours. Um, how how important water is, because there's not really a, like a public tap nearby. Well, not that I know of to be able to fill up. And I also need to wash in the morning somehow, but it's enough to drink and hygiene can come second plus the sea, right? I could just run, <laughs> I could run down this into the sea there. That would be a lot of fun. But yeah, I just wanted to share this moment. Um, I've got the camper van, uh, double bed put out and that thing's like a topper mattress. So you put that out over the top. Probably after this, I will watch some TV. I've already been for a walk, and I am very tired. I'm ready for a nice sleep. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this this magical moment. Coffee as the sun goes down. Let's get one one last look at that. That view. Hang on one second. I'm looking forward to seeing the stars tonight. I think that'll be really cool. I could climb through into the front cab where I'd get a better view, but to be honest, I'm about to go back to bed. <laughs> so yeah, if I spot any UFOs, you also get like a minky whale and a basking shark here, uh, porpoise, humans swimming in the sea. So yeah, I'll definitely keep a lookout for all of those. Um, but yeah, Hope you're doing well. Sending so much love from Scotland. Take care.